All right, so get ready on timer, and okay, and five, four, three, two, wait, fuck, hang on, shit. I don't remember my J timing procedure, obviously. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm hanging on here. Don't worry. All right. Hang on to those, those, those uh, cotton balls there. Oh. All right. Three, two, one, go. Smurf. What? This is a problem. I set the game brightness too high. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that'll be all right, though. Uh, all right. Here we go. Show and I know. There's a door just somewhere. Yep, that's that's Doraemon's anywhere door. I'll be using mostly the United States, uh, the U.S. names of all of his secret tools and like that tool right there. That's the air cannon. That is uh, Doraemon's attack weapon. And that's what the fuck game? Oh, what the shit? All right, already oh, wonder fuck, fuck, wonderfully fuck, bad. Fucking dead. Fucking dead. Fucking damn. Uh. Already just fucking it up over from what cool. This game actually looks similar to uh Mystical Ninja in a few ways. Like the backgrounds. But like the character uh looks like something out of my own. Now I don't know what I don't know the name of that tool I just picked up. It looks like a friggin' balls in a ball sack or whatever, but it lets me turn into a dinosaur. So the any percent route and the hundred percent route visit this level twice. Uh, any percent to pick up the best weapon in the game, but low percent skips that because it's actually skippable. Alright, so yep, first boss. This guy's easy, I just gotta time everything right. Alright, there we go. And now it's on oh, the level. Five cheeseburgers right now. Oh, 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 yeah, God damn it, guys, those aren't cheeseburg. I'll explain oh, what they are in a little bit. Oh, cheeseburger. So he, he loses cheeseburgers every time he gets hit? Ah, uh, that's <laughs> fucking hell. Um, that's a Japanese treat called. We, we call them yummy buns. Yep, so I'm using the tool I picked up in this uh, in the first level to turn into the dinosaur. And uh, this is the level that could have a theoretical major glitch of skipping a required item. But right now it's impossible, so I have to do what the any percent route does. So... Oh, so my, my question is, are they male yummy buns or female yummy buns? It's going Ah, uh, both. Lol. So they're hermaphrodite buns? Yeah, sure, why not? Whoa. <gasps> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a death warp in this level because, uh, the death game wants me- Death warp fight? Death warp fight. Oh, those cheeseburgers are getting eaten! The game wants me to, uh, pick up the secret tool called the air tube, run all the way back to the beginning of the level, and say hi to the monster that lives in this world, but it's about 30 seconds faster, 30 to 40 seconds faster to Death Warp, back to the beginning. Alright, so there's the air tube. That's the one item that could be theoretically skipped for a four oh, 14 item. So, but we can't just yet. Alright. And so now we're, we're back to the beginning of the level because we have to go- what the fuck? We have to go all the way back over here and to this room. MOM, I'M BUSY RIGHT NOW! Well, My mom's pretty cool though. Alright, do that. I'm gonna say hi to this guy that, that I don't have a name for him except he's got like two teeth, so that's cool. So it's a dragon? You're using dragon dragon. Dino. Dino dragon? Yeah, sure. So I see he's got he's red. So that, does that mean his dick is red than uh, the devil? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, probably. The devil's not too red in this game. Or, uh, but, but he has a white belly, so he has a white dick. What? Ooh, ooh, pick that up. Hell yeah, that's good game RNG when I least expected it. Sad that I drink all my beer. This run. This run? You're not even gonna wait for Demco? Yo, is Blunt Bunny here or no? I'm here. Yo, dude, I'm excited for uh, the next game because you're gonna reach the max body skill in it, so you're gonna get fucking ripped. Cool. I'm gonna achieve something in that game that I'll probably never achieve in real life. You're gonna build a catamaran. Cool! Alright, so, uh, the next level, I don't... It would be a great opportunity to explain what the fuck this game's about, but it has my favorite song in the game, so... They're gonna shut the fuck up. So I think, you know, I'll just, I'll just take that up because it's a really long and boring level, so I'll just uh, use that time to uh, explain who Doraemon is, what he's about, blah blah blah. And you know what, just for funsies, I'm going to show you all a theoretical uh, skip for this game that could be possible. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna go for it. Never mind. That's dumb. That's some baloney. Basically, you can jump on like the seams of stuff with like a questionable frame perfect jump. I don't know. And 14 item low percent could abuse the hell out of that. But never mind. Just forget it. Oh, not, not that level. This one. Oh, we're not rolling deep enough to skip. I mean, I. For, for, because low percent's only 15 item, we kinda can't really use it because we have the air tube already to get into the water. <laughs> okay. I just love it. Is that really a cheeseburger? No, much, dude. It's, it's, a yummy, it's a yummy bun, but how much slower is low percent than any percent on Um... The any percent world record is 4151 by my Japanese friend Toyomana, and my low percent world record is 4624. So not that so bad. Roughly five minutes or so. Yeah. And what like what makes any percent faster than low percent counter? Like what? Items um. Do you get that makes it faster? Any percent is faster because we pick up the best weapon in the game, which does the most damage, and we pick up. A item in the racing stage called the Great Up Fluid, which makes the underwater buggy, which we're going to be playing as soon, go much faster. Whoa, the underwater buggy! Yep. And, uh, so yeah. Uh, any percents 4151, low percents like 4624, and 100% is 5022 by me. Which, by the way, 100% is the hardest category for this game. Because of crazy shenanigans, but that's I already did that category for this marathon. So, yo SSD Ninja, thanks a bunch, dude. So, yeah. Um, so what Doraemon is? Unfortunately, not the character I'm playing as right now. This kid with this with the light blue shirt. We'll get we'll get to this fucker soon. Um, he's a blue robot cat from the year 2112. He's got a pouch on his belly that holds all of his secret tools. And uh, he was sent back to the year... We think it's the year 2004 that he got sent back to. We're not sure. But uh, he got what sent... It's 2004. Uh, some, that's what some fans uh, speculate it to be. But uh, he used to get sent back in time to help this dumb kid named Nobita, who's an actual loser. He helps him not oh, live a shitty it. life. Wait, so is it in the future they got sent to? Is it what about the future? They got sent to the future, 2004? No, he got sent back to the past. Because remember, back to the past, what a funny. Yeah, Dol when, when did this game come out? When did this game come out? 97, yeah. I believe. So wouldn't it be the future? Well, it's the past to Doraemon because he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're in Raymon, not the nineties. We're living, living, uh, you know. I just want to know if I'm able to buy the G Unit album in this year that he got sent back to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 
so the one sec there were two secret tools we picked up in the one water level the small light and the time wrapping cloth and uh, we used the time wrapping cloth to reverse the aging process of this underwater buggy so that it's able to be used again now the time wrapping cloth is a really interesting cool interesting tool uh, one side fast forwards the aging process and the other side reverses the aging process so like there's literally one episode where no where they put it on the main character Nobita to make him like 25 or something and it's, he got sent into the future to uh, to his future wife and be like hey uh, let's go snow hiking blah 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 and, oh. his, and his wife's all like yeah no you're still a fucking child I'll just go by my own <laughs> so, yeah, what the fuck ever. But yeah, uh, this first race we have to do is incredibly easy. Even if I mess up once, I can still recover pretty well. But the second race could make or break the entire run. In any percent, the make or break. In any percent, the se the second race. First off, I have a technique to explain right here. So the race is done. Race is done. This guy talks for a bit. We get our we get our secret tool, the deep sea cream. I'm gonna hold A and B on N64 controller, and that'll prevent me from going to the, the overworld. Deep sea cream. The deep sea cream. Deep yep. Sea. And so now the second race starts immediately. In any Thanks. percent, we we pick up that great up fluid to help us go faster. But this is low percent. I can't pick that up at all. This race is doable without it. It's just I need a focus. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't know. This, this, this race fucking sucks. Focus on those bits. But thank goodness, all I can say is thank this God this isn't. Thank God this isn't 100 percent because there's a third race you have to do in the 100 percent category that's even more difficult than this, so it's pretty garbage. So this is one of the drawbacks of. Oh God. Oh fuck. Okay. Uh. I'm actually gonna shut up now. Oof. Come on. I think I got this. Oh, hoo -hoo, okay. Alright, I think we got this. Oof. No, 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 come on. You're almost there. And we made it. Awesome. Alright, good. Good, the run lives. Uh, the next level is incredibly broken and rather difficult because uh, there's a really huge shortcut that we can do. So the deep sea cream that will allow us to. It's the true. Deep sea cream. It's true what they say. Water pressure increases the low, the further deeper you go underwater. And uh, the deep sea cream will let us be able to, with, with, to withstand such high pressures. Okay, also, all over, all over. also, I was holding the Z button there while I was going under because that makes me uh, go down faster. So that's cool. That Always saves deep sea cream down under. That saves like two seconds to hold the Z button there. But uh, yeah, this level has a really big shortcut that saves like. 40 seconds, oh, yeah, but nice that's not until the end of the level. So, uh, oh, fucking hell, this part, this is where, this is another, uh, instance where low percent really fucks with you. What the f- WHAT?! You, you dumb bitch, you couldn't jump onto the goddamn pirate oh, ship? Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> Never mind. So, so usually we would use the best weapon in the game, the champion gloves to kill these crabs right here, but we don't have that, so we need another way around that. Six, five, six, seven, eight, nope. Come on. Dude, please. Dude, come on. Dude! Jesus, fuck. 
Yeah, this is so stupid. What the shit? Alright. No, I, I swear this works. There we go, that's one of them down. I swear this works. This is just, this you is, know, this is like some nasty crap that you don't want. I mean, nobody wants this kind of crap. Not even this big fat kid. Big G. Big goddamn. Big granola. There we go. Fuck you, big galaxy. Alright. Freaking big Guantanamo Bay. Anyways, so we picked up the jack beam. That'll be used to get into the third world. So it's required to get into the third world, basically. Pretty much, yeah. So these these crazy like stone things I've been picking up at some levels, they're they're required to beat the game. It's part of the story. What happened was oh actually fuck I'll explain that after this level because uh, uh there's this really difficult part right here that's actually developer intended, it, and it's super fucking stupid. So I call this the ice cream cones. Okay, that's one. Hello? Yeah. That's two. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Good, I got them both. I got all three of them. So the ice cream cones are needed to be shot down so that they fill in the holes in the ground. So that water level fill in the hole. Fill in the holes, water level goes up, pirate ship goes up to the ground, and now I can get uh, the adaptation light. But uh, oh, the butt pirates with the deep sea green. <laughs> if you had a pirate name, what would it be? Captain gets touched in the butt a lot. Well, that would be nice. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So this game's story. I'll explain the shortcut coming up. Where the fuck am I going? Is it this way? Oh, this way, duh. Uh, basically, the the Demon King, or we'll just call him Satan for fuck's sake, uh, decides to cause havoc on the the world that this that this the king that some kings live in. Uh, the Sky King, the Earth King, and the uh, fuck, the Water King. They live in there. Demon decides to cause some trouble, and so hang on, important shortcut. So the Demon King is forcing people to suck his devil dick and causing trouble in the here. Pretty much. Also, I got the skip first try, so that's awesome. And, uh, so yeah, the Sky King's daughter, whose name is Corona, yes, the beer name, she goes into Doraemon's world and says, Hey, dude, help me out. Also, I need to borrow your pocket. Please help us out. And then the the and then Satan uh, comes into their world as a bat and says, "Fuck you guys! I'm taking his fucking pouch from you. You guys are fucking douchebags." And Doraemon's like, "Oh fuck! I need to get all my stuff back." So that's the story of this game. What the shit is this? Hello, dude. Fucking hell. Alright, also get ready for some, uh, hang on. Dude, please die. I think he needs one more hit. There we go, get ready for some Michael Bay explosions. Of the water area. So now we go to where the king is. 
pieces of water. Use the adaptation light on this super frozen deep sea area so that we can at least withstand the area and not freeze to death. Okay. Also, yeah, I forgot to note it, uh, mention uh, the fight against Satan is one of the scariest parts of this game. Like, it's actually pretty dumb in low percent. In any percent and 100 percent, you have the best weapon in the game, so it's a breeze. But this is actually pretty scary, so... Oh well. So you roll, this is the roll and beat Satan fight, low percent. Oh. Exactly. Uh, uh, yummy buns. Yeah, in any percent, we would just punch his face in with the champion gloves. No, I kind of have to use the air cannon, because that's... Oh, wait, fuck. I forgot. Switch to Sue. And then we can jump over that, because she's got the best uh, jumping in, in the game. And now for a part that could make me lose a minute, if I'm bad. Because I, I hate this stage. He's... What part is different? I made it through, but I didn't get the good cycle, so that's okay. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh! What do we got going on? What is going on? Right, that's fine. Right, that's good. Alright. That part oh, always yeah. scares me. So we picked up the ice key. No, no, yeah, yeah, thanks Banjo-Kazooie. Picked up the I the no, fuck it, we're not gonna call it the ice key, the water key. So we can go to the boss room and we get to beat the crap out of Santa Claus. I dropped a yummy bun. No way, I kind of want that. Mine. Another yummy bun. Dude, these fucking snowmen. So angry. Holy crap. Okay, Santa's dead. You know, I've always wondered, what happens if you go back to the door? Of course it won't open. Alright, so that's so the water world's all done. We saved the king. That's awesome. Now we gotta go back to the earth area and complete two more stages. The next stage has a really big shortcut that saves like 35 seconds over natural routes, so of course I'm gonna be going for it. It just it takes advantage of the girl character's uh uh jumping abilities. In fact it's this way. Yep. We use we're gonna use the small light that we picked up in the earlier level to shrink this boulder down and go to the next playable level. And this I don't know why, but this level just screams Super Mario 64. But yeah, one one way this game could be described as it is if you took SM64, put it through a strainer, and took all the fun out of it. That's what some reviews have said about this game. I think it's okay. Flush it down. Hmm. 
Oops, get up there. So each individual character has their own special like ability. Doraemon's the all-around character, so he's like, you know, Nobita, the kid with the yellow shirt and the glasses, which we'll never see in this run. His special up, is, his power up is a uh, rapid fire. Uh, this kid's uh, Sneech, uh, with the blue shirt, he runs the fastest out of all of them. Big G, the big kid, he's got the biggest and the most physical attack, but we don't really use that much. And Sue, the girl, she jumps the highest. In fact, we're gonna abuse her uh, her jumping powers right here to save some time. And if I can get this jump. And I got it pretty much first try, so that's awesome. And then here's giant fucking retarded green bird, or big bird. Big bird. Good. There we go. Good, that stage went by pretty well. So now it's on to the earth boss, or king, or whatever. And so, the one green leaf. Greenleaf production. This is a Greenleaf production. Woo! This is a Greenleaf Productions. So yeah, we were the the one tool in the treasure chest underwater we picked up in the earlier level was called the Go Through Hoop, and we used that to make way into this volcano. Ooh, another yummy bun! Awesome. There's a there's a oh, yeah. there's a mini shortcut in this level. I don't know how much time it saves, but it's super helpful. But this is another level where it's affected by low percent. So we gotta talk with this guy. Here's this mini shortcut. I gotta align with this wall, this side. Wait for here, wait for a little bit, and Why there we go. Know? Fall all the way down there. Right. Now we shoot his face in. The shoot the volcano's face in. Also, he's very angry. There we go. Back to Sameo. Or Sneech, or whatever. I like to switch between their US and Japanese names, so. <clears throat> Dude! Okay. Yeah, this also this level also screams Super Mario 64. I fucking wonder why. Right, so that's the that's the Earth key. Oh, I see what you're talking about. This is like <laughs> lava. You got the red platform that looks exactly straight out of some Super Mario. Wow, that took a whole yummy bone away, but... Alright, now for this boss. This boss is... Could confuse a lot of people casually, but that's because you're actually not supposed to use a weapon against him. You're just supposed to hop on his chest like five times. In fact, I don't even think this is the way the developers wanted you to fight this guy, but who am I to know? Who am I don't even know. All I know is that he's dead in five hits, so that's cool. Oh yeah, more Michael Bay explosions. Alright, so the water stages are done, the earth stages are done. <clears throat> Now it's time for the four sky stages. So, that's not too bad. Uh, the rest of the game is gonna look like an any percent run, except for the very final boss. Oh wait, except for the, the mini boss of the sky stages, which we're gonna be seeing next. So... <laughs> also, for anyone who's out there watching this, 
Uh, there's a really good walkthrough of this game on Game FAQs where most where the entire game's translated into English, so that's super cool. I'd do some searching around if you really, really wanted to know what the hell is going on in this game, like story-wise and what everyone says. But Alright, so this level sucks. Luckily it's the same as the any percent route, but this level sucks. It's even worse than the 100% route, because there's two extra items you have to go out of your way for. But, this is low percent, so this is okay. Dude, Colin, I actually am learning Japanese. It's really difficult. That's all I'll say. Alright, now I am pray that I make a good cycle here. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, yo, I made a good, like, good uh, platform cycle, so that's awesome. That saves, like, eight or nine seconds, so that's awesome. At least I think it does. Good, and then the cheese platforms. Good, avoid this douchebag. Awesome. It's always super busy. Will ever happen? Yeah, dude, I've been learning for like two and a half years and and, I, and I'm just now touching casual Japanese and it's like, oh god. Alright, this part's actually pretty important. Fuck. Come on, make it! Yo, nice! We made it onto that platform first try, so that's good. Right. So, do that, and then we wait for the goddamn platform to arrive. There we go. And this mini boss is affected by the low percent run, so. Except a lot of people don't know that you can just freaking uh you can do a s you can pause the game after the 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 boss fights. Dude, what the fuck? Dude! Hello? Dude! Get the What the fuck, dude? There we go, goddamn. Alright, where is he? Okay. That was really dumb. But yeah, the any percent fight would just punch her face in twice, and she'd be dead, but no, I gotta jump on her now. A little bit like Mystical Ninja, yeah. Alright, so uh, everyone, prepare your resident sleepers because we're on to the most absolutely boring stage of the game. So, I hate to say this, but the the secret tool that we picked up in the earlier level was called, uh, I think it's like the Anywhere Flight Control, or something dumb like that, and so we're pretty much going to stick it into this giant bird, and we're going to be able to fly it. Except I can literally like let go of the controller and let the game play itself for like 20 seconds or so. So if we got any donations, we can read them. This would be a perfect time to go find your lighter if you need to. Go grab a Pepsi, use the restroom, call your grandma, tell her you've rolled way too deep and that you, and that stuff. 
Oh, and we have to do this level twice. Even in any percent, we have to do it twice. So, yeah. Wonderful. Yo, yeah, this is like my second favorite song in the game, Colin. So yeah, wonderful video game. It's actually a rather interesting story about how I picked up this game. It was... <coughs> uh, RTA in Japan 2, I believe when they were trying to bring Suzuri and ZZZ Honky over here to America for AGDQ 2017. And uh, I had, around that point, this was about January, uh, December of 2016, just before AGDQ 2017, and I had no clue about this game. Then I heard about this marathon going on, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then Fiesel, the... Uh, one of the guys who did the English restream was like, Hey, this game's being played. This Doraemon game. Would you be interested? I'm like... And so I told him, uh, I've been meaning to touch this game for a while, but I know nothing of it. Give me a few days and I'll get the route learned. I'll play through the whole game. And he was like, that's fine. And so, yeah, sure enough, I learned this game and I was able to commentate for my friend Toyama now, uh, who got this game into the RTA in Japan 2 marathon and... So that was pretty cool. I kind of had an idea of how this game is played, and then I routed the 100% category at AGDQ 2017 and got world record in that category a month later, so so that's awesome. So yeah, we have to do this level twice. This is definitely your smoke break. <coughs> Whole lot of nothing. That's okay. So yeah, thanks to thanks everyone who is deciding to watch the Roll and Deep Marathon. This is a Green Leaf production. We're so thankful that you decided to stop out and check us out. It means quite a lot. And, uh, yeah, we've got another whole day of Marathon left. Pretty much a whole day. Yeah, don't worry, man. I quit smoking, too. So, it's whatever. But yeah, I'm actually pr I'm pretty excited for the next run because uh, I got permission to make Blunt Bunny for it, and it's gonna be great. Last year when I did The Sims 2 Castaway, I made I tried making RPG in that game, and it turned out pretty okay. But now, and last year I did the any percent category for that game. Now I'm doing a slightly different one called Escape by Boat. 
but that's the next game. We'll deal with that later. So this tool I picked up, top of this tree is called the Bamboo Copter, and we'll be using that in the next level, which might have one of the best songs in the game. So this should be, I think this is the 15th item that we need. Wow. Yeah, that's 15. Okay, oh boy. Alright, so good. That's the 15th item. That's the cloud hardening gas. We'll be using that to get into the next level. Now for a kinda, kinda-ish scary strat that any percent does which we fly straight to the moon instead of landing on instead of being a pussy and landing on a platform beforehand so actually that strat's not really that difficult yeah. if you know where you're going all right one more level to go and then one one more level one more boss and then the final boss It doesn't make sense, really, to get the cloud hardening gas. When we have the bamboo copter, we could just fly over to the castle. But I'm not gonna argue with this game. Alright. So, exactly like the any percent route. Good, killed them both, guys. That's what we need. There's a sick damage boost I could possibly do. Okay, come on, come on. Never mind, I didn't get it. That's okay, though. Also, we're approaching probably one of the laggiest areas in this game. Oh, good, I got that jump. Good. Wait, the camera always does that there. Yeah, that room can get really laggy, and it looks pretty funny. And now, um, this, this level is just somewhat difficult. Let me see if I can get this. Oh my god, no, fuck! Well, that's not that bad, but that's that's kind of dumb. There goes a few seconds. I'm not gonna go for that shortcut, that's too stupid. There we go, that's more like it. Rolling in. Yo, hey, welcome back. Sorry, I had a phone call. That's okay, man. How much longer do you think you got? Uh... It doesn't matter, I'm just asking. About four minutes. Four to Good. five Four to five minutes. Come in and underestimate again. Good. If, if everything goes well. Yeah, this is a that, that's an extremely generous estimate. Okay, maybe not extremely generous, but it's pretty nice. If, if I die on the final boss and kill him on my second try, I'll still be underestimate. So this boss is a real pushover. Oops. Except now I want to be Doraemon for this. I don't think you have to... Uh, no, I do, I do think you have to injure him with the...
Oh, he's dead. Cool. All right, so that's the that's the last main boss. The final boss is coming up, and that's this is that's and that is the scariest part of low percent. Even scarier than the race, where I have to actively avoid the grade up fluid. Because if you pick up the grade up fluid in a low percent run, you better reset because your run won't count. So. Mm. Actually, no, I gotta mash him this way is a little bit faster. But, uh, yeah, it's time for the final boss. This is gonna be kinda, oh boy. I'm glad this was a deathless run. I'm saying that now. I might as well, I might die on the final boss. That's how scary this is. Alright, here he goes. Thanks a bunch. Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm fucked wrong. Satan is super red. That's fine, whatever. Just, just fuck off, Satan. Dude, what the fuck? Aim right. Peter, you still there? What's up? I'm just wondering if you were there still. So. I've been doing shit around the house, but I'm still here. That's okay. Yeah, I've been doing the same. I was just gonna let you know that as long as uh, Zero is. Castaway run goes well. We'll probably be able to skip it here. Yeah, the, esti the estimate I gave you for uh, Castaway is also pretty generous. That's That estimate is like if the game hard locks once. I do plan on making at least two safety saves, so. That's fine. Throughout the run. I'm just practicing my games. It's probably better that we try to wrap it up sooner and later just because, um. Well, we might have. PBZ's run. I don't know if he's gonna be around for that or not, but if it doesn't happen, um, I can use some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Same! I know you're tired as fuck too, so, um, we're gonna stick it out. Roll it. Oh yeah. I've been practicing my game, so, like, I'm probably not gonna do it right, but I'm not gonna, like, do anything really bad. No, I assume your estimates are pretty generous as well. Sorta. Of. Um, Memorial Land 2, one might be cutting it a little close. Uh, but it's, it's a half hour run, so it's not that bad. Yeah, Pidge, didn't you recently run that game in a marathon and got a time of like 30 minutes flat or something? Yeah, that was in September when I hadn't played um, very much for that to practice. That makes sense. I haven't really run it since I submitted it to GDQ. Um, oh, yes, we did it! All right, get ready on time. Yeah, let me know. Just say time and I'll know. All right, I'll I'll give time a countdown because time ends <laughs> at a really specific spot. So it'll be a simple three, two, one. You know what to do. All right. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Time. What do we got? Uh. Looks like a 4803. Was that after the test box I was supposed to split? Uh, time stops when uh, the the fir the green jewel shows up fully on the screen. It was like a 4805. I guess. Oh, that's that's not bad. All right. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll gladly take that. Yeah, nice run, dude. Thanks. Jeez. It was a deathless run, so that's what counts. I'm glad I was paying attention, because like, I was on the phone, but I was like, I wonder how like much laundry is on this team. Gotcha, okay. <laughs> yeah, only a minute and a half off my world record, that's acceptable. But yeah, that girl with the blue hair, that's Corona. She's a cutie. Oh yeah. Anime. Well, next to rolling in next, we got, uh... Sims 2 passed away, where uh, apparently I'll be making an appearance, so... I'm a little worried about my hand for my runs, but I think I'll be okay. Paige, I'm sure you'll do fine. No, I mean, like, it's it's my... I've been playing through a hand injury. Oh, ouch. Is this your last... Are these your last runs for the marathon? Yeah. Okay. Because I did, I did a five-hour run this morning, and I got two half-hour 